We've been busy this week. We got an email from the producers, and we have to pull a reality show out of our asses. Apparently, I didn't read the fine print very well. So apparently, we didn't read when we submitted that this is not our reality show. We have to actually show them a sample of a reality show. Um, I don't know how we missed that, but I thought that actually my life was going to be the reality show. So basically what we're saying is we have to come up with a reality show in two days. That seems kind of crazy, but you know, stuff like that's been done before. I mean, Nicolas Cage was gone in 60 seconds, and he made that work, so good for him, you know. This wasn't what I expected. I thought that it was just going to be my life, um, and just things would just be a little different, you know more money, uh, maybe nicer cars, uh, maybe a haircut for Christine, something. What if we did improv? Like what if we just, you know, like completely like went into a city and we tried to put on an improv show? What about, so like live music venues, um, different places that we go we can rate um, based on how well you can hear them or like the type of you know, music that's being played. Okay, what if we go get haircuts and I explore the different haircuts that you could possibly get? You only get one haircut. You, that's, this is the haircut that you get. Swamp monsters. Roller coaster riding. French appetizers. I escaped a cult. L lipstick. French cut things that shouldn't be French cut. Chocolate discovering. Hop on pop. Maybe we can incorporate that into some kind of like a travel video where we maybe like go to a city. Why don't we do it where we go one day to these different cities and we only have 24 hours and we travel and then we just highlight what the city is. That's, that's exactly what I just said. No, you, the way you said it was different. You said it kind of in a weird way that I was not responding to and I stopped listening. But this is, that's what inspired me for this one. So what if it was that? So here's our concept. We fly into a direct flight city and we have 24 hours to produce short segments about food, arts and culture, nightlife, um, health and fitness, and, uh, and then they pay us to do that. Our pitch is a travel series. We're gonna take a direct flight to a town. We're gonna find the arts and cultures. We're gonna find all the martinis. We're gonna see if there's anything that Scotty can do. And, um, and then, we are going to get paid. So Scotty gathered all the camera equipment, Christine started lining up where we were gonna shoot, and I, I got us some interns. Right now I'm uh, interning for Joey, and uh, I'm just uh, doing some uh, writing for some of his new segments, writing for some other just little things here and there for him. Um, I've only been here a few days, but so far I've worked on editing for Joey and um, so that's about all I've gotten done so far, so. We have interns. When was I going to find out about this? I know we were talking about having interns this summer, but if we do, I haven't seen them. I have a lot of work that I could uh, give to interns to keep them busy. We offer a lot of uh, video services uh, to our tour clients uh, with sarasotoday.com. So uh, it would be uh, just a, a huge asset for me and I'm sure a great learning experience for them if I could, you know, ever get my hands on one for like five minutes. It seems that Joey has them following him around. Everything was going great. I had produced it down to the minute. We were on time. The day was hot and we were sweating, but it was going great. And then we got a phone call from Rich. Hey Rich, what's up? No, we're, we're out shooting. On the Hub Studios car? Oh, no, uh, no, don't dispute it. That, that's mine, that's my charge. You guys, you don't have to roll on this anymore because we're, uh, it's a, it's a, it's rich, it's nothing, it's a cut. Um, it's, a. Uh, I had a procedure. Uh, I had my asshole waxed. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, technically, 
I am on camera, so like cosmetic procedures are covered. We can write those up. Well, no. Correct, that technically is not on camera, but still, I just felt like all cosmetic procedures could be. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll write the check when I get in. Okay. Bye. I just want to make this clear. I did not book that appointment for him. I'm gonna say that for pulling together really quickly, and at the end of the day, we did a pretty good job. Now, I don't know that the three of us have worked together so closely in such a concentrated amount of time, but I would definitely say that we learned a few things about each other. Christine is uber, uber helpful until she is not. You don't need any help, right, Scotty? You're good? I'm good, thank you. Listen, I love Christine. Everybody knows that. But I will say, for someone who has kind of um, an admittedly uh, narrow vocabulary, she is a word Nazi. And if you're lucky like us, you can book one of the four bi-level suites. Lucky like us? Does anyone know anybody else other than you? It's just you. Oh, <laughs> traveling alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a, there's a lot of times when I can do my job well. And then when we go on set where there's like actual other human beings, I, I can't yell at them like I yell at Scotty. So it was an awesome day. We did amazing. And I'm personally, I'm very proud of all of us. Joe, you wanna talk about the phone call? No, we're not. No, I think you should talk about the phone call. No, we didn't. There was nobody, nobody was rolling during the phone call, so we don't have to even get that no, in this episode. Why don't we just get it just in case? No, it's, uh, Scotty stopped rolling on that. That's so fine. We don't have to talk about the phone call. I think the day went well as a whole. So now we got this beautiful product. It's new, it's fresh, it's gonna be fun. People are gonna love it and it's gonna be huge. And speaking of huge, there was a saying that my uncle Benjamin Shernyevich used to say. He used to say, Kicher un zevi gross her tuches es. Which means, look at her and look how big her butt is. And that applies here because once people see this new product that we're showing, they're gonna be like, look at them. Look how big their product is. And it's, everybody's gonna have fun. It's gonna be great. And you know, we might all go out for a company waxing. Animal products. Fresh apple pie. Turtle lamb. Babies screaming babies. Ruby red grapefruit. Two cute pets. Things a monkey would wear. Mushroom hunting. Faux fur. Breaking Amish. Bulldozers. Roller coaster ideas. Amish Mafia. Erotic, erotic pottery. Erotic pottery. Erotic, erotic pottery. Erotery. Long Island meeting. <laughs>